Hi everyone, this is a little uh, video we made about our recent tour. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with us, we do a show called Legends of the Celtic Harp uh, with Patrick Ball, who's a great storyteller. And what is music but a little wrinkling of the air? been on the road touring quite a lot and this last tour was uh, pretty much across the country so uh, we're just gonna kind of tell you about what these pictures are. Lisa bought this beautiful little trailer that she uh, kindly and generously invested into our tour group and it was a perfect size. Yeah so we could have purchase. be more comfortable in the van. They have a lot of equipment, a lot of product, CDs, CDs <laughs> and everything <laughs> had to perfect, fit perfectly in this uh, trailer, which was quite an effort. REA is the king of the perfect packing job. Things got better over the course of the tour. <laughs> By the end of it, we uh, had it down. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and hopefully we had quite a few boxes less of CDs to do also. And drive we did. First, Ari and I drove all the way to New Jersey from San Francisco. And this was a five-day trip, which we thought uh, would be really relaxing and sort leisurely. of leisurely. We wanted to stop and see the big ball of string and do all these kind of touristy things. And we were situated between uh, various storms that were blowing in from the west, and we were checking the weather and checking what's in front of us and what was behind us and we had to make a few detours in certain areas which required a bit more time so what looks like one inch on the map turns into three hours in time. <laughs> yes time. we were definitely enlightened <laughs> about that <laughs> and it was, but we were lucky we kept yeah. missing the storms they were in front of us mm -hmm. back of us we stopped in Salt Lake City and stayed was, with my cousin and yeah that was a 10-hour tour a lot of gas stations ah uh, gas that's what there's, you see on the road there's the little trailer mm -hmm. there, <laughs> there it is, is from the back I was brought all this work to do on my laptop and I was actually doing promotion for the shows with my Wi-Fi little unit while I was driving and at least I was supposed to be doing work but instead I would be making funny pictures of REA for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> we saw a rainbow. Where was just, this? Just as we got into finally into New Jersey that literally we went through West Virginia, we went through all these crazy places. It, these three rainbows, it was the most glorious. It really felt like you could see the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow <laughs> there. That was great. And we just rolled into our very first gig after five days of pretty intense and traveling. And Patrick was already in the East Coast playing, yeah. so he met us uh, there. Right there. Right. And um, the first show was in Morristown, a very cool historic town. There's, it's called the Minstrel Acoustic Concert Series. And so this particular one had this beautiful historic home. And uh, yeah, it was really, really I think something. there was ghosts in there. Yeah, <laughs> that was, was the something. study. Yeah, and really nice stage, totally packed house, big, a lot of folk music fans. Thank you very much. It's so nice to be here. Thank you so much. We are, as maybe you noticed from the publicity, we are the legends <laughs> of the Celtic Harp. <laughs> And we just wanted to let you know that we chose that very meek, mild, humble, self-effacing name. Uh, not because we think of ourselves as legends of the instrument, although we've been traveling quite a long time in Lisa's band, Mr. Brown chatting. We decided that we almost convinced our mothers that we are. <laughs> Oh, we chose that name because we wanted to create a show which offered you the myths, the legends, the histories, and of course, play the music of this instrument that we love so much. And then we Just stayed with um, this woman named uh, Iris, who was a great musician, a harp builder, and lived in a barn house that was actually used in the Underground Railroad. They actually found the rooms that uh, were used by the slaves as they were trying to get from the south to the north. and. But what was also unusual about this place was that every wall was decorated with vintage, perfectly mint, valuable old relics. It was like from, a museum. Oh, it was unbelievable. Really, really and it was cool. huge. And you could stay there for, for hours staring at every single one of these. It was such a 
lesson in history. There we are loading up the van again. Yep. Yes, you can see there was snow. <laughs> then we drove north to Rhode Island to another historic town. Uh, this was a area. school, wasn't it? Uh, yes, it was a school converted into a theater called yeah. uh, the Blackstone River, River Theater. theater. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there we are. It's very cool. This was a picture from a video someone took in the audience. Who is it that proclaims the ages of the moon? Who is it? That reveals the bed of the sun. Ooh. If it be not I. We moved on to Burlington, Massachusetts, and that was in and a church. Church, yeah. Also, really, really beautiful. Really sweet people. Yeah, really nice. And actually, Deborah. Henson Conant came to see us perform there. And not only that, we, we got, got to stay at her house for days. For days. <laughs> and we had quite a time yeah, with her. That she was is really a uh, she is certainly She's a something. heroic character for the harp, that's yeah. for sure. And she even had this idea that we would make this little uh, talk show sort of question answer experimenting with media. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure it's good. Refreshing. Oh my god, what is that? Is she allowed to do that? <laughs> oh yeah, come on. <laughs> and we're both like really into computers and gadgets, so we figured out how to have all these people live online asking us questions. It was really just a trial run to do the real thing later, but She's a mastermind. She's always thinking of all this wild stuff to do. And once that figured it out, we had to go to a bakery, <laughs> get Arya some coffee. Yeah. The, those guys, Arya and Patrick, the pursuit of great coffee, those guys are, are so into it. Oh, and soup. Yeah, this was, was a amazing. good place. <laughs> it was amazing. It was behind a kind of a, a mall, but it was like the best yeah. soup ever. Mm -hmm. And that was great. Mm -hmm. Then we said goodbye to our friend and drove all, all the way down. down. To now it looks like a little piece. When you look at that relative <laughs> to everything else, you think, oh, that's a short little run. Well, no, it's <laughs> that is a long way. Yeah, <laughs> it's a long <laughs> way. But we were performing at the, teaching at the uh, harp gathering. Yeah, Clemens. Clemens, Clemens, Clemens yeah. yes, Clemens. And uh, there's great. me teaching one of my classes. We didn't get that many pictures of this. Oh, and there's Kim Robertson. Robertson. She's always a troublemaker. We have yeah. fun with her. This was a party where we were admiring their bathtub. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and that was Frank Volz yeah, playing the playing organ. Yeah, playing the organ. And there's mm. Aria watching like, someone play with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one class there. And there's mm. me on stage. I don't know why I'm not smiling. It always yeah. looks like I'm not smiling, but believe me, folks, I feel happy inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just concentrating. <laughs> R.A. thinks I'm frowning, but I'm not. I'm Looking happy. I just look frowny. <laughs> Then we got to stay in a beautiful oh, yeah. home. Nashville. Mm -hmm. And we had our own little cottage and it was all beautiful. It was really great. It was some beautiful overlooking mm -hmm. the valley. Something really special about this concert is that this woman, a friend, a fan of Patrick's and just a long time music listener of ours, was terminally ill with cancer and her whole family gathered to bring her to, this, to our concert that Saturday night. Later that night she passed with all her friends and family around her. It was so incredible. Um, the next day there, they said there was something waiting for me. Someone, her daughter had come and left her precious little harp for me to use with my harps program. So I took it out right in Asheville and it I tuned beautiful. it up, played really? it. It was just so, so, such a wonderful surprise. And she wanted the harp to go with me and all my harps doing all the work at the cancer center. So it was just a really high point of the tour. I'm still amazed by it. I feel really, really lucky. We played in uh, pre-op, but we didn't play in post-op because we didn't want to scare people. <laughs> <laughs> In 
Nashville, we got to pick up George. Hey, George. George is the flautist that's worked with me for almost 20 years, like 17 years or something. This was the first in, one with George. Yeah, in Asheville at the another Unitarian church, the Mountain Spirit Coffee House. Oh, yep. And they just packed it out too. There was oh, like 200 people there or something. Yeah. And George did a great job. First yeah. time out, we rehearsed one hour before the show and he just <laughs> blew it through. It was That's great. Right. It was great. And I always go to Acoustic Corner, my favorite spot in Black Mountain, which is near Asheville and uh, visit Tom Fellenbaum. There's my bazooki, he made that bazooki, and I just wanted to show him how incredible it had broken in, and, and he was really interested in how it sounded, and it was really great. South Carolina. And we had our first automobile moment on <laughs> That's the road. right. That was a pretty long way to go before yeah. something happened. And we were on our way to a show, but that fortunately, mm -hmm. we're always early to be early. But we got to stay at another beautiful oh, house. house. Yeah, with the, uh, the, she was the music director of the church that mm -hmm. we performed yeah. at. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. There will be more details about what we learned about the show in my upcoming book, Plug Plug, that will... Um, say a lot about what we learned about these different kinds of venues. I mean, this was uh, in um... Columbia, that's right. And we knew that this was a famous place, and so we pulled up and we saw this, <laughs> which <laughs> would surprise us a little bit. It was yeah, a, it was pretty... A bit of a conundrum. <laughs> and, and inside it totally reminded me when I used to play bass in bar bands. It had you know, that the smell. look, the smell, the beer yeah, smell, right. everything. But sure enough, yep. it just, just goes to show, you get there, you do not know, because it got totally filled. It ended up being wonderful. Everybody people loved, loved it. it. Just yeah. people came out of nowhere. We had no idea. Some places don't sell tickets in advance, and that's pretty rare, but this was one of those places. So we had no idea if anyone was coming, and it was packed. Here's our little table. We don't have much space. We make our mini table. That's a mini table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Normally we have twice as much space as that, and the reason it's so large is because not only do we sell CDs, we have posters and we have t-shirts and my I make mosaics and I put my mosaics out there and, and then George he brought his flutes that he makes to sell and he did well with that. People want to support you so mm -hmm. give them the chance. This was a really uh, happy uh, surprise. Uh, surprise <laughs> Bluffed in, Bluffed we in had no South idea about yeah. that either. I got this out of the blue mm -hmm. and it was a great church and it was a great venue and it was a wonderful and they we were the very first to play in their church the, for our part of their concert series. It was very successful. This was us waiting till we could get into soundtrack. Yeah. Eating and drinking, we yeah. excel at. And there's George checking his flutes. So many great hosts and generous yep. people yeah. that says, "Oh, why don't you yeah. relax here, here. for a while?" <laughs> so, just to show you where Charleston is, it's really, really out there in the water, and that was a very special uh, concert yep. series, Candle Concerts by Candlelight. Mm -hmm. And Charleston, of course, is a very place. historic place. This is the church stained glass window. It was the oldest Unitarian church in the South. Yeah and uh, really beautiful architecture and it was right next to a graveyard cemetery a cemetery so back back and forth we'd go to the car just trouncing through these old old graves it felt uh, just <laughs> like uh, was it uh, that vampire movies and, yeah uh, <laughs> yeah it was a trip <laughs> this little girl came Good out and she gave girl. us all she gave us, a, us a picture, picture of us <laughs> And then we stayed in the old area of Charleston. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my gosh, God. every yeah. house was just mind blowing. She was a great flautist. We had her yeah. CD. She was really great. Mm -hmm. So off we go. We drove from Charleston to Atlanta. To Atlanta. And this was the 
hungrier coffee house. It's, and that turned out to be really, really yeah. lovely mm -hmm. event. And then we drove from the town to, to Gainesville. Gainesville, the Gainesville Unitarian Church. We tired by then. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. A lot of friends in Gainesville came out. And but we were also dropping King. off George. This is his mm -hmm. last gig with us. Storms, and there's Patrick driving, and there's REA sleeping, his favorite thing to do, and we finally made it to Louisiana. And we were invited to do a radio show at a college. Mm -hmm. so that was actually that. the uh, local, that was a big public radio station, actually. That's uh -huh. like uh, KQED. Oh, it's yeah. a big, big time. Oh, yeah. That was oh, a they great were so interview. pro. Oh, yeah, that was that the was best. It was like Barbara Walters or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That look is not me angry. That's me looking tired. That's exhaustion. And that's me looking tired. <laughs> this is us withered and wilted. We've been going every single day, driving and playing without really any resting days. And we sit at day arts. Arlo Guthrie had played there just that Wednesday. Wow, I didn't know that. It's like a theater. Mm -hmm. um, theater. It's a huge place. Music. Valerie Green. Valerie she Green. actually was responsible for yeah. it all, really. And she, she does the uh, Harpistry uh, radio show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't know about that, you can find her on Facebook. Okay, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Louisiana people uh, are really interesting. <laughs> she is the, probably the only nickel harpa player in. She was our host. That's our where host. we stayed. And yeah. we were the only time we were the only people to actually stay in her house. Because she doesn't like people, people. <laughs> but uh, she let us stay because of Arie, first guest in like yeah. twenty five years or something. And she's a puppeteer. <laughs> and everywhere you looked were these faces staring at you <laughs> when you woke up in the morning. It was everywhere, and that will be unforgettable. Simple, yeah, always, for that sure. Is truly. And then we drove to Houston. And there's REA sleeping again. Oh, we did the school thing first. Yeah, we did the it school. It was a yeah, Saint 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 Catholic, Catholic school. school. But they were celebrating Ireland. Ireland. So. And it was as nice as the theaters we yeah, play in, definitely. too, for sure. And all the kids yeah, came I mean, in, mm -hmm. and, and they already taught them about the nickel harpa they were completely polite and yep. quiet and really Maybe respectful. I should have had my son the yeah. uh, <laughs> Catholic Church yeah and then that evening we had the concert at the university yeah very pro very awesome sound system and yeah, nice. yeah, and nice. there's our our expanded table <laughs> we have all the table space So that was lovely. They put us up in like a house. A dormitory. A house dormitory for yeah. a couple of days. It was that just was... like a house. Filled the refrigerator and it was really, yeah. <laughs> really fun. That during the daytime this boy could play music of such gladness that he could charm the eagle from the realm, the hawk from the dove, and the fox from the lamb. San Antonio, Antonio but we were right in smack in the middle of right Texas there. stopping for gas and we noticed a strange puddle coming out of strange liquid goo under the van radiator that didn't look very good being so brown and we really were in the middle of nowhere 
And then we tried to turn on the engine and we saw it overheat. So we knew we were in trouble. But we had pulled over sort of near a semi-truck mechanic. They were basically a uh, trucker's mechanics. Yep, and we waited and waited and waited. <laughs> uh, we were supposed to be in uh, Tucson. Yes, we were heading to Tucson for our last concert of the whole tour, but we weren't going anywhere. So we had to rent a U-Haul, and this nice man drove us to the U-Haul, but all they had was the giant, giant size. <laughs> so we loaded it up, we put the trailer on the back, I drove to my dad. Drove to Santa Fe. That was a bumpy ride. <laughs> yes, we went through Roswell. The whole way. <laughs> we went through Roswell. We went through the crate, Carlsbad. This is where the radioactive right. waste was being yeah. <laughs> coming out of the ground. Got to Santa Fe, which was like heaven. Because my dad treated us pretty well. Yeah, he took he us out. Out. We got to rest. Yeah. We still had to figure out what we were going to do. We had to return the truck, so. and it snowed a little too. Yeah. And so we ended up. Santa Fe budget. with a budget right there. <laughs> <laughs> Small. And that is somewhere in uh, Needles, I think. And we had been gone by now a month, yep. right? Yeah. Or even a little more since we got delayed. Yeah. And it's very nice to be pointed towards home. We're definitely ready for yeah, that. We're so with all our stuff. That was the leftover <laughs> <laughs> that we made back. Pull up to our storage unit. Actually, we stopped at Patrick's first for That's the night, right. and then we came mm -hmm. home. So I was sad. I left my van, and then I went shopping around, and I got my next van, my new van. I was very, very happy about that. Mm -hmm. So now we go back, and we go get the trailer. Yeah, yeah. So you'll have to stay tuned for the next adventure, the rescue of the little trailer. And that is your month-long tour across the country. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.